75 years ago today, Karl Feibler's bomber was shot down over Germany. This is Tim Wrencher, the history guy for CJ Online, talking about Feibler, who spent more than 500 days in a German prison camp and later was a long time Topeka dentist. Feibler was born in 1921 and grew up in western Kansas. He learned to fly while attending a community college. After World War II broke out, he joined the Army Air Corps and became a bomber pilot. Feiler went on 25 bombing missions over Germany in 1943, only to be shot down on his last run while flying this B-17 flying fortress called the Dark Horse. Feiler stands on the far right in this photo taken with his crew. When the Dark Horse was shot down, two members died on the plane while nine bailed out. Two were then killed by Germans on the ground. Seven were taken prisoner, including Feiler, who had multiple wounds. Feiler was subsequently kept at the prisoner of war camp shown by the star on this map. That camp was liberated in April 1945. After the war, Feiler attended and graduated from dental school, then spent more than 40 years working as a dentist in Topeka. In 1982, Feiler received the Distinguished Flying Cross. 39 years late for completing his 25 mission combat tour. Meanwhile, he spoke often to groups about his experiences in the war and spent time at the Kansas State House fighting for laws to protect veterans. Feigler also wrote a book about his experiences called Stayin' Alive. It was published in 1995. Feigler died at age 88 in the 11th hour of Veterans Day, the 11th day of November, 2009. Coincidentally, World War I had ended at that same time 91 years earlier. Feiler's story was then told in a biography published in 2012 and written by Carl Webb and Ann Norlin. It was titled 1111, The Carl Feiler Story. This is Tim Wrencher, the History Guy, for CJ Online.